we've uh, invited Southampton Football Club together with their coaches and we are conducting coaching programs for the next five days. We are looking at the development sites and the aim is to develop uh, talent within our young footballers with the hope of preparing them for the uh, 2022 World Cup. Most of our football development initiatives are geared towards getting Kenya to qualify for the World Cup 2022. It is a dream that brings together our football community as well as the entire nation. SportPesa is playing its role in ensuring proper coaching programs are put in place as we build a proud national team that will not only qualify for the World Cup in 2022, but also make a great impact. It is for this reason that SportPesa has partnered with Southampton Football Club. The club is globally renowned for its success in developing budding footballers into world-class internationals. From the retired England legend striker, Alan Shearer, to Jorge Fonte, who lifted the first European Cup for Portugal in France last year. And it is that expertise that through SportPesa we are trying to leverage today um, compare notes with our coaching staff, what we can do, how we do it here, and they will tell us how they do it there, and we take the best practice out of this, and, and, and we continue developing our players. FKF now has permanent teams at youth level. These players that you see here today are the same players that represented Kenya last year. The under 20s are also active. The senior team is active and now uh, recently, the Chan team, the, the, local, the local team for, for Chan, has also come into play. The partnership with Sport Pesa, um, is a three-year approach, and when Sport Pesa came to us uh, to look for this partnership, it was key that it was a partnership, it was working towards a, a set goal, a five-year plan, to try and help develop football on the ground here in Kenya, but not only football, sports as well. And trying to have um, an understanding throughout that three-year agreement and the five-year development plan to work with the Fo Football Kenyan Federation, Robert and his team, Andreas and David and the guys there, uh, to work towards something quite special. We're here for this week and Danny and the team will come on to this shortly to, to work with this group of players. But as Joyce and, and Robert have both touched on, We've also got another touch point in August this year where an under-14 development team will come across and use the facilities at Southampton Football Club, work with not only the coaches in the room here today, but a number of other coaches across Southampton Football Club. We'll have a keeper in here. This will be with no defenders. Okay, so we're just looking at the pattern. Okay, from this team, can I have a centre forward, please. Any centre forward? Number nine. Good. Today's been a great day. Uh, we started off by talking through the lads, the six match targets we do at Southampton and how they were going to fit into the week. Um, we look to play out from the back, to switch play. Um, we also look at being clinical in the final third. Uh, we'll look at set pieces, distances, interceptions. Um, and what we've mainly targeted today um, was the clinical in the final third. Um, so the session started off with a technical practice as we would at Southampton. We put a huge importance into how good the players are technically. Uh, so we did two passing practices, passing and receiving drills. Uh, that then went into a crossing and finishing practice uh, that was mainly around patterns of play in wide areas. Uh, and we ended up with a small sided game. And the entire process is for us to learn the success behind Southampton as a global leading uh, partner in terms of uh, youth development. Southampton is renowned world over for the likes of, of Gareth Bale, uh, Theo Walcott, Alan Shearer, and many other stars of yesterday and stars of today.